Hello, welcome to my new home. This is the empty apartment tour. I'm gonna be going through the whole apartment and going through some of the renovations that I've done. Starting with the entranceway, we just entered through the door and this is August, by the way, it's a lifesaver. This used to be black tiling, but I changed it to marble. It used to be a little bit older and it was in poor condition. So I changed it out. The apartment before was about 15 years old. So everything was already pretty run down. So a lot of things had to be updated. I'm gonna take you to the bathroom now and I redid the entire bathroom, took everything out. So everything here is completely new and built in based on my own design. Coming to the bathroom and this is what the bathroom looks like overall. So starting with the tub, you can see the tiling from the ground all the way up to the bathtub. The bathtub I had to change out as well because like I said, it was in very old condition. I built this little niche here. So so this little niche is actually just for all your products and stuff. I had to build this because before I would always have the stick on stuff to hold my product and they would always fall down. So I finally decided to just build an in wall one so I wouldn't have that problem anymore. Going to the rest of the bathroom, the vanity here is from Ikea. The countertop is from my kitchen guy, which you'll also see later when we go to the kitchen. I will leave the links below for everything that I've gotten here. Most of the stuff is actually from Wayfair except for the lights which is from Ikea and it's actually quite cheap so I will link the lights as well. The toilet is my favorite toilet. It's actually from Costco and it's a lot cheaper than some of the other toilets on the market and it's just the right size. It's TMI, but a lot bigger, you know what I mean? So when you sit down, you're a lot more comfortable. But um, yes, so all the hardware is also from Wayfair from a brand named Moen. Taking you to the other side of the apartment. Here is the hallway into the rest of the unit. I changed all the floors to this light wooden color. It used to be a very dark brown. And the first stop, we have the closet for you know coats, shoes, and stuff. Then we have the bedroom. For the bedroom, I didn't actually have to update that much except for the flooring. Before the flooring, it wasn't even laminate or wood. It was just kind of this I don't know how to describe it, but it kind of looks like paper material and it was peeling off. So I had to install all the new laminates as well. The other thing I installed also is a light in the ceiling. There was no light in the ceiling and you had to rely on a floor lamp. I really wanted to have one of those lights so I can use a light switch. Right now, we're just waiting for the installation of the chandelier. So I already have it, it's right here, but I'm just waiting for it to be put in. So that's the only thing besides the kitchen lights that are missing. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention, there used to be a second entrance. So this wall here in the corner didn't exist before. It was a second entrance and there were two more sliding doors that would open into the kitchen and the living room. But I really wanted to extend the kitchen because the kitchen was quite small. By building the wall, I was able to do that. And also that way I can just rely on this one entrance. All right, so going to the rest of the apartment, we're walking over to the kitchen now and this whole thing was also once again everything was taken out and I had to renovate the whole thing this was probably one of the biggest renovations because there were so many things that needed to be changed I'll go through some of the changes with you so the first one like I said with the bedroom I had to install the wall so I could extend it the kitchen used to actually only come up to here and the kitchen used to be a lot more narrow so it used to come up to here the issue with that is when I used to come in here I felt very claustrophobic and the cabinets were also all worn out so we wanted to update it because a lot of the other appliances also wasn't able to fit the appliances that came with the unit before were all very mini so the fridge was like this narrow the oven and the stove was also only up to here so everything was just in a very mini size even dishwasher um, only fit about five dishes I don't know that's what it looked like so I wanted to make sure everything was in just like a regular size because I spent a lot of my time in the kitchen. I cook basically every day, sometimes twice or three times a day. So the kitchen is extremely important to me. Okay, so the exciting parts about the kitchen that I renovated. So the countertop, the one thing I really wanted was having a waterfall countertop. I thought that was really nice. So I extended it all the way down. The hardware is all from 
Wayfair. So once again, I will leave the links to the hardware below. I also didn't want a oven and a stove. I wanted just a lot more counter space, which is why I opt in for the cooktop. And this, a lot of people seem to mistaken it for a dual oven, which it's not. This is a microwave and this is an oven. I don't bake desserts or anything. So when I bake, it's usually just for meals. So I definitely don't need a double oven. The last thing I want to talk about is this faucet. So I found this faucet on Wayfair and it is actually my favorite faucet in the entire world because it has this thing here that I can turn around. You can still fill up water if you want to, and you can also get the spray from this guy as well. So I just thought that this was a really nice touch to the rest of the kitchen and the gold match really well with the hardware on the cabinets. So this was pretty much the kitchen. The last thing for the living room besides the flooring, as you can see, is a light up here. So once again, this light up here didn't exist before. I had to install it because like I said, I don't usually like to rely on floor lamps. It might mean that there's wiring in the middle of the living room. So I felt like if I had a light up here, it would just brighten the place up very well. And it's just in the ceiling. So it's not taking up much room down below. This light is also from Wayfair. This is turning out to be a Wayfair commercial. By the way, this is not sponsored by Wayfair at all. I purchased everything here myself from Wayfair. I found that actually shopping on Wayfair for all these things ended up being a lot cheaper than going to specialized stores. If you guys are also doing renovations, I highly recommend doing Wayfair. So the other thing that I got that is in the apartment, even though it's empty, the only thing I have is my ND mattress. So I'm very excited to open this up and sleep on it tonight. I've heard so many great things about the ND mattress. And if you guys don't know, this is a Canadian made mattress and they have a bunch of other products so I have the duvet and also the two pillows so if you guys want to try it out they have a 100 day free trial and you can use my code down below for $50 off so yeah if you guys want to give it a try you can look at the code down below so that was pretty much my entire apartment I hope you enjoyed seeing this video in a few months I'll be able to update you guys with all my furniture and decorations but in the meantime this is pretty much it so I will see you guys soon in the next video bye